you can see from the results that of 105 days after application, this ground is still pretty clean. There are a few weeds, but once you clean the branches back, the bare ground trial here in the middle is still what I would call respectable. As we walk down and look at some of the competitors, the results speak for itself. Because with broad axe, we have two modes of action that are effective against water hemp. You have your dual component, and you also have sulfentrazone or Spartan. They do a great job for season-long weed management in soybeans. So as you look down through the competitors, one I want to focus on a little bit is Authority Max. Again, a sulfentrazone-based product, but it also involves classic instead of dual. And you can see that the chloromuron doesn't add too much to the weed control issue. And, and the reason for that is the fact that Classic, which is an ALS herbicide, is basically a non-effective mode of action for water hemp. With Broadax, you had two modes of action. With here, you really only got one effective mode of action, and you can see the results. So like before, with just Broadax applied pre-emergence to your soybeans, here we are following it up with three and a half pints of Flexstar GT 3.5. This follow-up application of Flexstar GT was done exactly 28 days after the pre-emergence broad axe was applied. And you can see here, we are almost getting season long control with just a few small water hemp that made it through the control. As you look back at the soybeans in the back, there are no weeds because the canopy of the soybeans has really helped us out there.